So another another month gone. I honestly, um, that's September. <laughs> it's just going. I, it'll be Christmas uh, very soon. Um, so exciting month this month. Really, really crazy busy. Um, all sorts of stuff going on. We uh, opened the doors to the Ignite membership again and saw, um, gosh, I don't know how many people um, joined but lots and lots of new members which is amazing so so many people now starting on their creative journey or continuing on their creative journey developing their work which is just um absolutely fabulous um and i'm seeing some amazing pieces coming through already um kind of following following the foundations course and um and it's just wonderful um lots of lovely new people within the community again which is uh, absolutely fabulous so this month um it's been a bit of a whirlwind my uh eldest son has moved or yeah so he's he's gone overseas he's actually moving to australia uh, he's got a year's visa that may end up being two years, may end up being that he's going to stay there forever. I don't know. Um, so he went on the 4th. He's currently in Vietnam. Um, and probably by the time this goes uh, live, he'll he'll actually be in Melbourne. Um, so having the most incredible time. Um, they started off in Thailand. He's been sort of texting me every day and uh, sending me uh, photos and videos and everything is, and FaceTiming me. He's just having the most fantastic time. He's gone with some friends. And um, yeah, so that's that's been quite... Um, what's it been quite... Uh, I, I want to say stressful, but it's not really stressful. I think internally it's been quite stressful for me because we've been a very tight family for, um, you know since 2017 when uh, you know when when the dad left and um we're just just a very a very very nice tight family uh and yeah him going as sort of it has made me sad and waving him off and everything was sad but he's 24 and you know he's got some amazing adventures ahead of him and and that's really exciting my daughter ended up ended up having a um her appendix out just before she went on holiday so that was really stressful <laughs> and then my youngest son and I were obviously in the house with all of the animals and everything for a couple of weeks and um yeah it felt really really strange um you know emptying the dishwasher in the morning and like there's hardly anything in it because I'm not I don't really like to cook and uh my other two that weren't there they really love to cook. So normally we have like tons of stuff in the dishwasher. You've got to put it on twice. And I'm like taking a plate out. <laughs> That's it. I'm like, so I had a bit of a weep over that. Oh my goodness. You know, and, and then of course, when my daughter came back and the dishwasher was full again, I was like, oh my goodness, get back on holiday. <laughs> um, so yeah, so it's been, been, been a bit strange really. Um, you know, the family dynamics has sort of changed a little bit, but um yeah, he's having he's having a fabulous time, so that's all good. And then, of course, all of the run up to the um, the academy, the ignite doors opening, and then um, and then welcoming welcoming new people in. All of the extra extra sessions that I run. So when when I open the doors, um, I, I like to kind of hold people's hands quite a bit. So I'll end up bringing in. Um, uh, you know, doing more live sessions and all of that kind of stuff. Um, so I've been busy. So the, the, the amount of stuff that I do normally in a week is quite a lot. And then that's sort of not doubled, but, you know, an awful lot more. So, um, yeah, so I've had, had all of that as well. And then uh, and then decided that I couldn't do any more peopling. <laughs> So I had to cancel a few a few interviews and stuff that I had lined up. I had to cancel just because, you know, sometimes you just feel um, actually I just need to spend a little bit of time on my own drawing and whatever so that I, I am able to do the stuff that's important. And the stuff that's important is obviously to support my amazing uh, members. So, um, yeah, so I had to make the um, decision to cancel a couple of things, which is which is fine. Um and then um, we're still on with the, well, actually, by the time this goes uh, live, I think we'll have finished the B, but this is what we've been drawing in Art Club. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I don't know whether it's going to go all fuzzy because of the camera, but we're drawing this lovely little B on a flower. Um, and um, hopefully this, we're going to be finishing this uh, next week. 
we've got two weeks left but actually what we're going to do is we're going to have one week of art club and then uh i'm going to um I'm going to record the final bit because we're starting on a brand new uh, tutorial in Art Club, which is a Highland Cow, which everybody is incredibly excited about. I've been talking about it for ages. Um, probably once we get going and we're drawing all of that fur, people are going to be less excited. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're going to be starting that on the 3rd of October, which um, which we're all very, very, um, very happy about. Um, so... And then, of course, I finished another of my portraits. So I, I wanted to challenge myself. I think when it comes to development, I am always developing. I'm always uh, buying courses to learn new things. I'm always um, attending webinars. I'm, I'm always doing something to better myself, to be a better version of me, you know, and it could be could be anything that I that I do. And um when it comes to drawing, um, developing my drawing skills, again, is is key, I think. For, for any artist, we always need to be developing and pushing ourselves. And um, for me, one of the things that I really struggle with and I find incredibly challenging is drawing smooth subjects on drafting film. And um, I did a, I had to draw it, well, I didn't have to, but I drew a portrait on drafting film that was for a client who's already got a portrait. And their first portrait I did on drafting film. So the second one, because they're going to be hung together, they both need to be on drafting film, really. And I found it really challenging um, and, and managed to do it. And it looks amazing. And I'm incredibly proud of it. But I thought, you know what, I really need to properly challenge myself and look at how I can create smooth subjects on drafting film. Because a lot of people love drafting film. It's a very stable surface. The quality is always exactly as you expect it to be. Um, you know, it's not like you get one piece and it's like this and, an, and an, another piece and it's like that. It's always consistent in quality. It's a super, super surface to work on. Um, it's archival, um, light fast, all of the stuff that you want it to be. So I decided I was going to draw a human on it. Um, so I'm relatively new to drawing humans. I do have found my passion. I've talked about this before. I love my animals. I never wanted to draw humans. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh my goodness, drawing humans is amazing. And drawing humans has actually allowed me to develop my animal portraits, which again is amazing. So I um, I drew this on film. So this is on, this is on film. You can see it all shiny there. It's another thing that I say to my students as well. Oh, Bonnie, my, my draft, it's all shiny. And I'm like, are you looking at it at an angle? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, don't, don't look at it at an angle. <laughs> Just look at it head on and then you won't see the shine. Um, but yeah, so um, that's that. And then if you look at it on the other side, you can see where I've kind of darkened bits and drawn on it. Not over the, the entire thing, but um, so that's, I've really enjoyed drawing her on drafting film. And what has made that really successful is this. I don't know whether that's going to come out back to front. Um, Prismacolor, would you believe it? Um, so I bought the full set of Prismacolor, 150 pencils. And I know people are going to go, they're not light fast. Blah, blah, blah. Some of them are light fast. Some of them aren't very much like the Pablos, very much like the Polychromos. Um, do you know what? <sighs> they are fantastic on drafting film for skin. They're amazing. Um, so... Um, yeah, so that was a bit of a, a revelation, really, that um, that Prismacolor that I haven't used purely because I don't like the softness on pastel matte, which is what I normally use. On drafting film, they're like a match made in heaven and they work so well and they've got the most gorgeous colours. So anyway, so I've got the full set of the Prismacolor now. Um, not sure I'm going to be introducing them into my tutorials anytime soon. I think maybe if I do another person on drafting film, I probably will because they are... I'm not going to say it's easier to use them because I think there's definitely a skill there, but they definitely blend better. They definitely give you a, I mean, you know, she's got this lovely, super smooth skin, um, you know, and and that I could achieve using the, the, the prismas. Um, so, yeah, that was quite a, a revelation. Oh, my goodness. I loved, I absolutely loved drawing her. I really love drawing her and I drew her for me. So I didn't really record any of it. Um, I did some little ones for um, uh, social media, but I didn't record any of it as a, as a you know, 
uh, as a tutorial and I, I definitely need that I definitely need to have pieces where it's not a commission it's not a tutorial it's just because I want to draw it and I um, I've seen a piece and I just absolutely love it and that that is how I keep my sanity most definitely and that's also how I manage to keep drawing and teaching and not having to take sort of big uh, breaks or anything like that it's because I I'm, I'm very conscious of how I feel and how my body reacts and I'm very quick to put things into action so that if something is a bit of a miss or uh, you know I need to sort of take a little bit of time out I can do that but it doesn't affect my work and I think that's really really important so um, the other thing that I've done in fact the book's in the other room but the other thing that I've done this month is I've um, I'll show you this little box because it's quite pretty you know. Together. So I've taken out a subscription to, um, oops, this makes good footage, doesn't it? Um, I've taken out a subscription to, again, it might be um, might be the wrong way around, Locked Library um, from HarperCollins. Um, basically, each month I get a new book. I don't know what I'm getting. And the book is like a limited edition. So it's got all of that gorgeous, um, the edges that are all painted and it's got beautiful inserts and um, sort of a lovely uh, a bookmark and everything like that. And um, it's really nice. So uh, when I, I had a bit of a declutter, um, well, this year, last year, I had my living room all done. And I'm one of those people that wherever there's a space, if there's a, if there's a, a surface, I'll put stuff on it. So my, so my kitchen table looks like I've got some kind of a, I don't know, production line going on it. Um, wherever there's a space, I put stuff on it. So in my living room, I took out all of the extra surfaces. <laughs> and so I don't really have, I have a settee and I have my telly in, but I don't really have anything else. <clears throat> so I've got no, no space for books and I've got loads of books. Anyway, I bought myself a little um, book stand, like a little uh, book tree. So I'm excited for that to come because I've got so many books to put on the book tree. Um, and then I could put these lovely, uh, these lovely Harper Collins ones on there, which would be really exciting. So I've got a few different books that um, I'm actually really enjoying. I'm reading one at the minute and I, I'm not sure I should, I'm not sure I should be reading it. <laughs> it's, it's very, it's, uh, it's sort of like a thriller type thing, but it's very dark. Um, I'm, I am really enjoying it, but it's very dark and I, I, there's parts of it I'm thinking, I don't think I should be really reading this. <laughs> so that's um, that's quite funny, but I, I really do enjoy reading and I've um, I found sort of like a, um, I, like to, I like to read all sorts of different things. And, um, you know, it's it's quite nice to be able to sit and read. Uh, I don't now watch an awful lot of telly. Um, you know, there might be a series that I find and I, I sort of like binge watch it. Um, I watched, what did I watch? Um, oh gosh, what was it called? The the Wilderness on um, Prime. It came out last Thursday. I was like, oh, I'm watching this. Oh. So I got to the, I think there's about seven episodes. And I got to sort of like the end of episode five and I'm like, oh, I've just had enough of this now. I know what's going to happen. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't bothered watching the rest of it. <laughs> but um yeah, so I tend to draw or read um, and, of course, go uh, go swimming. But I haven't been swimming for a couple of weeks just because we've been so, so busy. Um, so, um, yeah, so uh, what have we got coming up? Um, October, I'm off to Nashville, which I'm really excited about. Uh, I am part of Stu McLaren's Mastermind um, and we've got a live um, event going on in Nashville. So I fly out on the 12th. And we stay for a week. Um, I'm so excited because I get to meet Stu McLaren, who's like one of my biggest heroes ever. Um, but I also get to meet loads of people from the mastermind as well. People from all over the world doing the same thing that I'm doing. Um, you know, well, not um, drawing, but, you know, different memberships. <clears throat> and um, it's going to be the most amazing couple of days. So that's really exciting. Off to um, Stratford-upon-Avon for a couple of days to check out 
the uh, the hotel, meet the florist, look at the uh, meet the audio visual guy for the great art party, the great British art party, which is happening in November. So uh, we're just going to give a, the, the the once over that we know it's a fantastic hotel, but we're just going to go and have a look at it and make sure, and then talk to the audio visual guy, make sure that he's got um, you know the screens are all set up and all of that kind of stuff, and and talk to the um, florist about the flowers that are going on all the tables. So again, really really exciting times there. And then this is really exciting for me. You'll, it'll probably bore the pants off you, but I've got, um, uh, it's my cousin's son is coming next Thursday and he is a lighting and audio visual specialist. And finally, I am going to have my studio set up with lights off the floor, everything in the right places, and they're all going to be hopefully um, worked from my phone. I can't tell you how excited I am. <laughs> I can't. I just can't tell you how excited I am. He's going to look at my microphones. He's going to get all my microphones working properly. He's going to get this box thing. Hang on. Oops. This thing that I, I don't know how much I spent on it. It's covered in flipping dust. This thing here. Look at the dust on it. <laughs> um. He's going to get that working for me. Um, he, um, yeah, we're going to get the whole of the studio working properly so that I've got really good studio lights. I, I use floor standing soft boxes um, and they get in the way and, my, you know, my, they fall over all the time. So I'm going to get them all properly on a big boom arms. Um, I'm going to have another rig set up so that we can have a camera running all of the time for social media uh, clips, all of that kind of stuff. Um, and just properly set my studio up with the lighting um, so that everything's off the floor, everything's really handy and I can switch everything on um, from my phone, which is just going to be the most amazing thing. Um, you know, I I've got so much equipment everywhere. Uh, and it all works fine, but it's not, it's not, doesn't work to its optimal, <laughs> how it should do, because of course that, Bonnie's put it together. So it's all a bit hit and miss. But um, yeah, so I'm really, really excited about that. I don't know how long it's going to take to, um, to sort out, but that's, again, that's really, really exciting. Um, I'm just trying to think about what else we've got going on. Um, I think I've got a new... A new little freebie that's coming out, coming out in October. Um, I think that's a bit. I think that's about it, actually. Um, just, um, just the normal. I've got some lovely commissions that I'm on with. Um, I'm doing a big tutorial at the moment, uh, a horse on drafting film, which it, it's quite big. I mean, it's sort of a four-ish, so it is relatively big, but um, because it's the whole body the head's really quite small so uh that's i'm having to draw like really really tiny but details but really really tiny um but it's going to be a good one because it's very shiny it's very rich colors so lots and lots of learning points in there and then yeah i've got some really lovely um commissions coming up a uh, couple of really lovely horses lovely cat um and then i've got some pieces that i haven't been able to share uh, and they're going to be gifted, so I'll be able to share those. So a couple of Labradors. So um, and then I'm going to be doing some more of my own pieces, which I'm really excited about as well. So yeah, same as usual, busy, busy, um, and um, you know we're just we're just keeping on, keeping on, <laughs> um, and um, yeah. So hopefully uh, next month I'll be able to show you the completed. At Bumblebee, the completed horse that I'm doing as the tutorial, maybe another couple of pieces that I've been working on um, and tell you a little bit more about the lighting in my studio, which will be amazing. So um, so for now, you know, thank you so much to me listening to me gabbling on about a load of rubbish and um, and I'll catch you all later. Mm -hmm.